Hello there, my beautiful Taurus friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. Right, everyone, we have a very powerful alignment about to take place here on May the 19th. We have the planet Mars, a planet of energy and action coming together, coming in alignment with the North Node. Now, the North Node represents our destiny, our life path, our life's purpose. When, we, when these two energies uh, come together, this is where we have this amplified energy that is pushing us to take action towards the things that we want and desire in our life. The North Node is pointing us in the direction of that destiny, of that purpose, of that life path, okay? So this is where consistency is going to be key, taking action and being determined. You're here on a mission, everyone, and it's now time to really follow and initiate that mission, okay? So we're gonna find out exactly what this means for your sign. What I'm going to do for you today is open your reading with an oracle card from the Spirit of the Animals Oracle deck. Then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you, followed by a bonus card from the Sacred Forest Oracle deck, and then an angel number for you as well. So those of you that are watching today, if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects, any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is all going to give your confirmation and guidance today so stay tuned for all of this my beautiful friends all right taurus let's call in spirit and open up your reading see what it is that spirit would like you to hear around this alignment so we are getting for you my friends puffin partnership so look at that have any of you seen a puffin anywhere in your life if you have this is your confirmation if you haven't you're seeing one now on your screen so partnership okay pay attention to the partnerships in your life the message is accept yourself and your colorful personality feel confident about being you you are a joy bringer taurus let your community nourish and protect you ask for help Teamwork will give you the best results. So this is a combined, this is a collaborative energy that is working for you. I'm gonna repeat this to you one more time. Accept yourself and your colorful personality, Taurus. Feel confident about being you. You are a joy bringer. Let your community nourish and protect you. Ask for help. Teamwork will give you the best results. So look at that. Puffin spirit, embrace this energy here, Taurus. All right, connecting with others and receiving support and then asking for help. All right, let's pull some more cards and see what else is coming through for you. So spirit is really wanting you to decide whether you're going to take a passive role in your life or an active role. This is what that energy of Mars is bringing into us is an active role in our own life. So it's all about embracing that energy. So we're getting the Ace of Pentacles here for you. Something new is coming into your life. This is coming in as a seed of opportunity. This is a door opening for you and creating a new beginning. It's up to you how much energy you want to put into this to help it grow. Okay, so there's something new that is beginning in your life right now, Taurus. Ace of Pentacles to start. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Look at this. Your hard work, your efforts are going to create rewards for you. Fruition, attainment, fulfillment through your energy. Okay, so what is it that you're doing in your life that is creating results for you? All right, this is the number eight infinity symbol or a Boris uh, what goes around comes around the energy that you're putting out there is coming back to you okay we're in the year number eight by the way so um, this is a number of power of action right Mars is bringing in that energy of action 
Okay, so this is what is happening for you. You're maybe feeling very active right now as well, Taurus. Now, I also want you to use your own intuition with my reading. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So Eight of Pentacles and we have the Emperor card. Look at that. I'm seeing this Emperor and I'm seeing actual fire flames. This is like a burning desire, this burning passion, something that you have really been wanting to create in your life and you're actually going to create it. You're going to see that you have the power to do anything that you want in your life. You're not here to compete with anyone, Taurus. You're here to rule your reality and you're doing exactly that. So the Emperor card, Major Arcana card, you're going to feel this energy in your life, Taurus, and it's bringing about some powerful changes for you, okay? So, wow, this is really intense. So we're starting from scratch, putting some work in, and we are going to rule our kingdom. This is ultimately what's happening here for you. So before I begin, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you today, Taurus. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind. All right, some fierce action, aggressiveness, authority, some power, grounded energy here as well. This is all coming to you. This is that earthy uh, vibe that you give off, Taurus, this loyalty, this commitment that is showing up in your life towards something. What is this something for you, Taurus? You can share with me in the comment section below. But I'm seeing some of you um, really picking up on an opportunity to do something really big in your life. So this is something really big that is happening in your life right now, okay? And um, take a look at the size of this pentacle. Look at the size of the person and the size of this pentacle. So if you were to tend to this seed, if you were to plant it and tend to it, take care of it with your love, um, everything that you've got here, Taurus, you're going to see how big this thing grows, whatever this is for you. So you have either manifested this or it's shown up. You have seen the synchronicity. You have woken up to the sign or whatever this is for you. So I do feel some of you are taking action. Perhaps some of you are in a passive role in your life and you have now decided or made the choice that you're going to take an active role. And, you know, sometimes it's the, these energies from these planetary alignments that bring us this motivation, this inspiration to get up and actually start moving towards our goals. So this is where instead of waiting for opportunities to happen, which is a passive role, you're now taking action to create those opportunities to actually look for them, to find them or to create them. And this, I feel for you, is a creation. Okay, this is why I feel it's a manifestation that has now come in as a seed of opportunity for you. And um, there's a lot of excitement around this. This can show up as a new job because you had applied for a job. Uh, maybe this has to do with your career, a financial opportunity here, maybe the investment. Uh, you decided to invest in something and you're going and you and you're aware it's like a calculated risk you took. And you know that this is going to pay off and you know what it is that you need to do. So it's a commitment. It's a devotion here. Determination coming in as well. All the D's, right? Um, solid foundations. Spirit is really wanting you to lay those solid foundations. Understand what it's going to take in order for this to grow. Understand what it is that you need. It's kind of like buying ourselves a plant. Understanding, okay, this is a, um, you know, an apple tree. So I have to go plant this in the backyard. What does it need in order for it to grow successfully, to bear the best fruit? right? Understanding that, understanding what this is for you. What is it going to take in order for this to really grow and flourish? Um, sometimes we have to learn um, as we build something new, as we start something new. So don't be afraid to learn, to set aside some time for yourself here, Taurus, to learn new things that are related to what it is that you are doing. Be open here. Open mind is, is what spirit guides are wanting you to really be, is because there's some things that sometimes we don't see unless we're open-minded and maybe hear other people out or look at other perspectives of how we can possibly make this work. Um, 
I'm getting beginner's luck here as well coming through for you, uh, Taurus. Now, the other thing I actually wanted to just mention here is Aries snuck into your reading, the last reading I did for you. And sometimes this happens. So when I'm in the flow of energy, when I'm channeling energy, I have no filter. And if there's another energy present in that flow of energy, I begin to start calling you another sign. And there, there's probably uh, influence around that energy somewhere in your life, or perhaps you're meant to embody that energy of the spirit warrior. That's Aries, right? So I did have a word with Aries to let them know that they've been sneaking into your readings, Taurus. So um, this is why that happens. And I do feel that there's some sort of a connection or flow of energy coming into your life that feels different for you that doesn't feel like yourself. So perhaps this could be an Aries energy or this could be something completely different. This has to do with the planet Mars for you. So there's a little bit of aggression here. I'm seeing the color red. This could be coming through the Emperor card. Okay, so it's time to get to work. Taurus. It's time for you to really devote and dedicate yourself to whatever this is because you are going to see a lot of results. Okay, this is your time, a lot, some time, set some si time aside to actually make sure that you are attending to whatever this seed is to make sure that it does grow. Now, when I first started my YouTube channel, um, I was working full time in the dental field and I had to set aside time and make it work. I was hustling. I also had a side job to save some money so I can take time off once I quit my nine to five. That way I had at least a good six months of rent, car payments, phone bills, right? Preparation here is also coming in for you. So preparing to actually launch whatever this is to make sure that you succeed to master. Uh, mastery is in this card as well. So you're meant to master whatever this opportunity is, whatever this is that's showing up in your life. I do feel that some of you are gifted, that perhaps um, you've been desiring to really follow those gifts, um, spiritual gifts here, right? Um, music, perhaps writing, whatever this is for you, I feel you have this desire, this passion for it. So to start implementing that in your life in some way, I'm very creative. I love creating things. I'm artistic. Um, as you can see through my channel here. So um, in, in the dental world, I was given opportunities to actually create advertising and marketing for the practices that I was working in because I wanted to have a creative element um, other than just managing and, uh, you know, looking after practices and the people. I wanted to do something that was creative as well. So I always added a little bit of that into my work. So this is where you understand how you work best, Taurus, to really implement things that add a little bit of inspiration, a little bit of, you know, honey to your day, a little bit of sugar to your day, right? That keep you a little bit uplifted here. For me, it's creativity. I like to use my mind. I love images. I love colors. I like putting things together to see how they kind of show up, right? And, um, this is a real and true expression of your authentic self. This is that uh, essence that you are sharing with the world. And you're meant for something really big here, Taurus. I really feel that some of you are so talented that it's now time for you to master some of the talents and the strengths that you have to really focus on strengthening your gifts here and using them in the world. This is what this card is all about. The energy that you put out there is going to create some major results for you. And look at all of these pentacles that you are creating. These are your creations. This is a the energy of your creation, your true essence coming out in the form of music, in the form of writing, in the form of speaking, in the form of acting, whatever this is for you. Okay, so there's a lot of power that is backing you right now that you're meant to tap into. Okay, they're wanting you to be brave. They want you to be courageous and not allow your fears to get the best of you here. But know that you have the power to create anything that you want. Taurus, if you believe in the power of you and you believe that this is a part of your destiny because I truly feel it is. This is what you're in alignment with. Look at this. Okay, there's something that you're meant to create and bring to your reality, um, something physical in physical form, okay, through your own energy, through your bare hands here, Taurus, and you're meant to work hard towards it, 
okay, to look at options and see which different ways that you can figure this out for yourself. They're really wanting you to put your brain to work, your problem solving skills to work here, because this throne is waiting for you. This reality where you are ruling your world, your reality is very real for you. This is a part of your destiny. You're here to rule Taurus. And I do feel some of you have this vision, this mind, like, I don't know if any of you are thinking that you want to be a millionaire. I'm getting someone's mind here saying, I want to be a millionaire. I'm not going to stop until I become a millionaire. I'm going to try everything in my power to get myself to that place. So this is where you have that hustler mindset as well. Not everyone has that hustler mindset and there's nothing wrong with, there's nothing wrong with anything, right? Like having a hustler mindset or whatever it is. It's the way that you work, the way that you want to apply your energy. And this is all about how you apply your energy, Taurus, in the world. Like you are very powerful. You are just raging with energy here. This is what I'm getting. And your passions, it, it's almost like there is this renewal of passionate energy here. So you're passionate about something. And you're they're wanting you to really chase that, be hungry for it. This is that Mars energy that is coming in and the North Node is pointing you in the direction of this. So some of you might be feeling the breezes of change in your life that are moving you in a new direction. So look that way and just see where it is directing you right now, Taurus. So, you know, maybe there's a change happening that might be making you feel uncomfortable. Um, this is that breeze of change that is coming in. Sometimes when we move in a new direction, it can feel uncomfortable. We go through an adjustment period then, right? So allow yourself to adjust to this new way of looking at things, this new direction that you might not be used to. Okay, so um, having a vision in mind here is also going to be very powerful. If you know where your destination point is, that is how you're going to get there. Everything is going to come to alignment. Remember, we can create our own destiny. Some of you might not believe that. Sometimes it's uh, we feel that it is written. I believe that we are connected to our destiny. So we don't just think out of thin air what that is when I say that we are creating our destiny is we're tapping into that energy and actually seeing it. So it feels like we are the ones that are creating it, but there's almost like this energy of tapping into it and knowing that that's where we're going. So that desire, that passion links, there's a link, there's a connection that happens. And through this planetary alignment that is happening on May the 19th, you're going to feel this energy more intensely than other days. And you might even feel it now as you're watching this reading before May 19th and even past that. OK, I always find there's a bubble of energy around days. So the intensity is going to happen on May 19th, but you might feel a stretch of that throughout the days before or after. OK, so authority there's this leadership role that you're meant to take somewhere in your life Taurus okay so this is where you step up this is where you you come to the forefront okay this is where you're not afraid to stand your ground and take action okay so they're really wanting you to uh, tap into that spirit warrior energy and to actually get up and be heard to communicate. Um, you are a leader, Taurus. If you actually look at uh, some of the millionaires in the world, they are Tauruses, they are Scorpios, um, they are Leos, they are Geminis. Okay, so do your research and take a look at to see who these millionaires are. I I, I find inspiration looking at what people like celebrities especially because they made it to the certain point and there's something that they've been doing in their own life to get them there so i've been listening to a lot of interviews uh one for sure is Shah Rukh khan he's a hindi actor icon also nora fatehi i've been watching her interview she's actually from toronto so she's canadian she's not from india but she's in the indian industry so it's interesting to listen to where she came from and how she got to where she's gotten to some of the things that she have has implemented there's a lot of hard work that goes into this position of the emperor i do feel some of you are working hard because that card of hard work is coming in and 
the results are, I feel some of you are seeing the results already. There's more to come here for you. There's a lot more power. There's a lot more expansion, a lot more success that you're meant to reach here, Taurus. So dream as big as you possibly can. Remember, you in a, are in alignment to your destiny, your higher purpose, your path, okay? So um, the power is yours. It's now time for you to wield it. So remember, through our life experiences, we pick up on powers. Any challenges that we face, we grow stronger, gain a superpower, but it's an opportunity for us to actually apply those powers to take an active role in our life, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull a bonus card for you from the Sacred Forest Oracle deck. I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook. So anything more that Spirit wants to share with you is going to come through this card today. So we are getting for you Taurus Daffodil Fairy New Beginnings. Look at that. We are on to New Beginnings confirmation here through the Ace of Pentacles. Um, I don't know if any of you are seeing daffodils anywhere in your life. This is a confirmation, a sign for you. Uh, we have the number 10. So some of you might be seeing the number 10, 10 on a clock, 10 on a license plate. Maybe your phone number has the number 10 in it. Um, but this is coming up or maybe you're born on the 10th of the month. Now, those of you looking for timing, 10 days, 10 weeks, 10 months, and also uh, the 10th of the month here. Um, also, pay attention to the number ones and eights in your life, okay? I feel these are also coming in as confirmations. Numerology is very powerful. Life path one, life path eight. Um, again, uh, one plus zero is one, life path number one. This is very powerful. You're getting a lot of ones in your reading today, Taurus. So new beginnings, fresh starts here, uh, manifestations, new seeds. So the message of this card is you feel a tap on your shoulder and in a flash of yellow, you see a daffodil fairy fly by you. In a high, sweet voice, she says, the best is yet to be. It's time for a new beginning. With glee, you race after her into the forest. So look at that, you race after her into the forest. Life goes in cycles, Taurus, just as spring flows, sorry, just as spring follows winter, a new cycle is beginning in your life. In the phases of the earth, the plants die in the fall so that there can be new birth in the spring. It's the universal dance of death and rebirth. There's a time to end and begin, and this is the close, this is the close of one cycle and the beginning of another. We associate the daffodil with spring as it is one of the first flowers to emerge after the snows. It shapes, its shape echoes the feeling of trumpeting in the new season. Its colors suggest vitality, radiance, and sunshine. The appearance of this card brings a message to wipe the slate clean, Taurus. It's time to release the old and start again. It can be difficult to release familiar routines, situations, or relationships when they no, no longer empower you. However, your higher self encourages you not to cling to the old but set sail into new waters. If you find yourself afraid to let go, Daffodil Fairy urges you to face your fear and allow yourself to stretch in new direction. The Creator is at your side and wonderful opportunities will be born in your life. Wholeness occurs when you can say yes to both endings and beginnings. So, the spirit of the Daffodil Fairy says to you today, Taurus, it's time to start a new project or a new cycle. Life force and vitality are emerging. Release that which doesn't serve and support you. Make way for a new start. Success is at hand. So embrace the energy of Daffodil Fairy here. New beginnings, okay? So let's pull an angel number. Some of you might be seeing repeating numbers or angel numbers in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So we are getting here for you. Passion and purpose. Look at this. This is that North Node energy, right? Passion and purpose. You're being pointed in that direction. You meant to combine these. Uh, the number 3333, three, three, three. perhaps you're seeing the number 3 somewhere in your life. Life path number 3, some of you might be a li life path number 3. Um, seeing 3s on a clock, on uh, a license plate, perhaps you have a lot of 3s in your phone number. Taurus, those of you looking for timing, 3 days, 3 weeks, 3 months, and 3 hours. 
using your gifts for good. Okay, they're wanting you to use your gifts for good here, Taurus. Your creativity, your, some of you are very creative. You have talent, you have ability, you're meant to express those. It's time for that expression, the awakening of that expression. So some of you are going through an awakening right now. There's some help that is available to you. So lean on support, lean on help, especially if it is available to you. If it's not, call on your spirit guides to bring that help in. Remember, you're always under divine support as well, Taurus. So this is your reading today. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.